This is Paulo Bancaro, and you're watching Slam Exam. Let's get into it. Uh, Kings, Sacramento. It was at the beginning of the year. Uh, I just remember having a good game, thinking we was going to win. Career high. I was feeling great. And then uh, De'Aaron Fox hit a half-court shot, and we lost. So I, I remember being pretty sick after that game. I think I had like 17 in the first half. Uh, so I was feeling good going into the locker room, just wanted to come out. You know, sometimes in the NBA it's tricky because like you could you could have 20 in the first half and then have four points in the second. So like when you have a good first half, you got to tell yourself, you got to make sure that you come out in the second half, you know, with the same intensity or else you can go, you can go cold. So I just wanted to come out, have a strong uh, second half. And then, I mean, yeah, I ended up getting my career high that night. Sixteen, mm -hmm. uh, yeah. So it's not the Kings, cause Kings was fifteen. Uh, was it the? It's the, either the Heat or the Knicks. I'm trying to remember. I'm gonna say the Knicks or Heat. C or D. Uh, I'm gonna go with Knicks. Knicks. So it's actually the same night that you scored 33 against the Kings. Oh, it was 16. I knew it. Uh, see, now I was overthinking. I was like, no way y'all gave me the same answer twice. But yeah, no, that was the same. Yep, that was the same night. I don't really count any stats during the game, but like, at least with points, you score four buckets, you know, you score eight points. Rebounds is just like, you really don't know unless you look up at the board, so. Rebounds just kind of come to you and you look up and see how many you have. But like, there's games where, like that game where you got like 15, 16, you know you're on the boards pretty, pretty heavy. So, I always try and like start the game on the boards. So like, first quarter, second quarter, I got like six boards, seven boards. Shire was Shire was getting buckets, so it wasn't seven. No way it was seven. Man, I'm gonna use my lifeline. I'm using my lifeline, call the coach. Or not, nah, no, nah, no, nah, I'm not even gonna call him. I don't wanna bother, I'm gonna just Google. I got Google, right? Mm -hmm. I'm on a time limit. <sighs> Here we go. Man, it's taking a little bit to load, but he had I got it, right at this buzzer. Answer is B, 16, or no, 15, six and five. It's a hell of a game for the Natty. It's 15, six and five. And yeah, now nah, there's a there's a, a few off season, preseason, one on one games that we played. Shoot, even after practice a couple times. I let I let y'all ask him who won. It, 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 it wasn't him. <laughs> Nah, but he, he did beat me in, in a lot of shooting competitions. That's where he always got me at, man, was the shooting. He got a strap. Nah, he could shoot He could shoot the lights out, though. If I had to make a scout report on Shire, mm, I would say pressure him. He's not the fastest guy. He's not the most athletic guy. But he is very skilled. He's smart, man. So I would just say, man, try and fluster him, pressure him. But I, if I was guarding him, I, I'd get in his head. Three. Three. All right, you know who they are? Uh, Shaquille O'Neal, Coach Mike Miller, and then myself. Mike Miller, man. Uh, I'm gonna say Bron and 0-3. Final answer? Mm, wait, just most points. Cause I know the Bron thing was like 25, five and five. So, I mean, D Rose could have, could have scored more than that. I'm gonna, I'm gonna go Bron though, man. Ah, no, 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 don't, don't quote me on that. So it wasn't LeBron. Cause he only scored 25. Let's see, now y'all confusing me. Is it AI? I think it, I think AI had 30. I'm gonna say the answer, Allen Iverson. That's correct. 
Yes, sir. My grandfather, he used to have a bunch of um, like figures in a, in a nice uh, glass shelf. It was like these expensive like sports figures. And they looked like hella real. And he had like Magic Johnson, Michael Jordan, Allen Iverson. And I always thought Allen Iverson was the coolest because he had the arm sleeve with the headband. I don't, I, just, I don't know why I remember that. I just remember being little, always looking at the AI little figure. And then once you grow up and actually watch them and, you know, watch, I would watch the documentary and all that stuff. Like you, you become a lot more aware and gain a lot more respect. And then uh, I went to his, his classic too, played in his classic. That was dope. Met him, talked to him. I might have to Google that one. All right, can you, yeah. I might have to Google that one. I think you used the Google already, but you still have Oh, I already, I already used the Google. Coach ain't gonna answer if I call him right now. Okay. I mean, nah, he actually might. Is he FaceTime? Are you able to FaceTime with him? Uh, have I? I think once, man. I'm gonna go with, I'm gonna go with, hmm, 10.4. Show sure you when he's one of the lifelines? I mean, who am I gonna call, man? Am I gonna call Coach? <laughs> no, I ain't gonna call Coach. Oh, yeah, let's take away two options. Yeah, yeah I got that one. Let's do that. Yeah. Uh, it is between A and C. Hmm. Six or 12? Was he a bucket or was he not? I'm gonna say, uh, I'm gonna say A. Correct. Right. Yes, sir. What is uh, your favorite Coach K story? I always heard he's like real funny, even though like people maybe. Yeah. Like, yeah, nah. I mean, uh, you don't, no one really ever gets to see like, yeah, that side of him. But no, nah, he's hella funny. Sarcastic, like, smart ass a little bit, but he's funny though. Like, he know, he, he's, he's never wrong, almost, like, I swear. It's like he knows everything, so. Like he's just so wise, like, he's just, I don't know, it's crazy. Like, talking to him, you know, like, he's just seen everything. He's been coaching for 40 some years, so, like, you know what I'm saying? It's like, me talking to him or any of us talking to him, it's like, it's, he just knows way more than any of us do. Damn. I don't know, bro. We went to his uh, high school retirement, or Jersey retirement. They was just rattling off accolades. It's like, bro, this guy's the greatest high school player of all time. Football, basketball. But state titles in football, I don't even know, and I really don't want to get a question wrong, so I think I'm gonna have to call, bro. He might answer. He might answer. Call Suggy Bear up. Suggy Bear. No, 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 not, not his name on my phone, but that's what we call him. Now, one of our coaches gave him the name The Bear. Cause he's just like, you know, you know how he plays. Aggressive, tough. So I just call him, we call him Suggy Bear. Uh-oh. Behind you. Oh. Mr. Suggs. Money man. No. Oh, hey. I just want to, uh, I had to ask you for the lifeline, bro. I'm, you see I'm with Slam, Christian. Okay. okay. You see the question? One, brother. Just one? No, no, no. Come on. You got to be right. Just one? Hey, appreciate you, brother. Hey, Sean, hold it up real quick. What up, gang? What up, son? Hey. Hey. Yeah. Okay. All right. Appreciate you, brother. That was my lifeline right there. I got you, me. All right. My dog. I can always count on that man right there. Always count on Jay. Uh, Bobo. If I think back, year, his freshman and sophomore year, he was at modern day, but that wasn't until like later. He moved though. Yeah, I think it's Kansas, right? It's Kansas. Kansas. It is Kansas. Yeah, yeah. Only reason I know that is because like the first time I ever saw a Bobo highlight, like on Instagram when he was in high school, I think he had like a Run GMC, Kansas City Run GMC. Uh, that's who he was playing for. Nah, Bo, Bo's like, he's just a natural. Like he just, there's nothing on the court he can't do. He's like a 6'2 guard, but he's 7'2". Seven, seven it's crazy. Pokemon, Pokemon, Pokemon. 
Bro plays it before every game in the locker room, on the bus, after the game, on a plane, probably at home in his bed. Like, bro, bro does not never have the Pokemon playing. So it's routine. Like, he'll be sitting there in his game clothes on the Pokemon. What's the, what's the game? No, I'm saying like in his game, like in a like before the game, in the locker room on the Pokemon. Yes, that's Cole Anthony right there. Yeah. <laughs> What is he just playing against a computer or is he like I don't watch him bro. I be just looking at him like, man, why are you always playing that game? But he's a bucket though, so it must be getting him right. Come on man, that's Mr. South Dakota himself. It's the king of South Dakota. He still he still owe me a trip to South Dakota. I don't know if I wanna take him up on it though. I'm a I'm a pretty good like basketball historian, like I don't know, I just know a lot about the game, so I remember thinking to myself, like, when I first signed with Mike, I was like, yo, hey, Mike, where are you from, dog? I'm thinking he was about to say, one of these, Cali's, Florida, Texas, because he got the Aggie country dude. And he was like, nah, South Dakota. I've never been to South Dakota or North Dakota. But I told him he owed me a trip out there. He said he the king, he said he running out there, so I want to see for myself. Yes, sir. Nine, nine out of 10. I can't believe I missed the rebounds one, bro.